the dream sweet little mama. Jay and today I'm here with my November 2018 TBR. If you are new to my channel then you don't know this but my mom always picks my TBR and she always has some weird theme to go with how she chose the books. So this month's theme is interesting how she got to it. Every single book has a bird on the cover and her theory is that in America it is Thanksgiving in November and therefore birds and therefore that is how she chose her books this month. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that she chose for me to read is The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. I have had this book on my shelf since last Christmas when my brother bought it for me, but I still have yet to read it. I read The Raven Boys, gave it a five out of five stars, need to read the rest of the series. I only have the second book. It needs to get done. And also birds on the cover. The next book she chose is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I honestly don't actually know that much about this book. I know a lot of people love it, but I've never actually taken the time to figure out what it's even about. And also the back of the book, like the synopsis, doesn't really give you much. So I don't know, but it's got a bird wing on the cover, so I need to read it in November. The next book you're all going to be very happy about because you guys have all been asking me to hurry up and do my next Harry Potter reading vlog. So it is Harry Potter and The Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. Hopefully, we will get to it. Honestly, I don't know if I'm actually going to read this one because the month of November is my final month of university, so there's a lot of like papers and tests coming up and exams, so I kind of want to focus on that, and I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to do the whole reading vlog thing for this, which I know you guys are looking forward to, so this might have to wait until December, but we'll see. The next book that she chose was The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. This is another one that has been on my bookshelf since it came out, and I've been dying to read it, but I still haven't because I am trash. I believe that is like a Hansel and Gretel-esque type of retelling thing. Could be very wrong. I try to go into books blind. There's the bird for the cover is why she picked it. So I actually, I think that this is going to be the first one that I read because it's the one that I'm like the most excited for out of all of these. So this one will probably be in my wrap up. The next one that she chose is Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornwall and this follows a girl named Nora who has agoraphobia. She ends up ordering groceries from some service and they get delivered to her door and then she meets the delivery boy named Lucas and they kind of start a relationship but she believes that he deserves someone who's like not scared to leave their house so it's kind of their story and her trying to beat agoraphobia. I think that's what it's about. Maybe very wrong. I like to go into books pretty blind so that's kind of the gist of what I think it's about from other people talking about it but I guess we'll see if I actually, you know, read it, but there's the little birdie. And then the final book that she picked, I have had it on my shelf for a really long time. I honestly haven't heard that much about it, but it is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. I live like super duper close to the book outlet warehouse and I ended up picking this up for like $2 or something because it was like a scratch and dent, but like it's literally perfect so I don't see how it's a scratch and dent, but I'll take it. This is a retelling of Vasila the Beautiful, which is like a Russian folklore. I've never actually read that folklore or heard anything about it, but from the like description, it seems very similar to like Cinderella, but I think that's only because it involves like two stepsisters and a stepmother. Let me know down below if any of you have read this and what you thought of it, because I honestly have not heard anything about this book or if it's good or not, so I'm intrigued. All right, guys, so that was my November TBR. I didn't do a very good job explaining things because, like I said, I like to go into things very blind when it comes to books, so let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!